We may have some some patients here as early as this afternoon or tomorrow. Governor Murphy toured the last of three FEMA-equipped field hospitals, 258 beds set up inside Atlantic City's convention center. They'll serve low-acuity patients to help relieve any stress on South Jersey hospitals due to COVID-19 patients. Jersey's eight southern counties have 12 percent of the state's total number of cases as of this morning, but... We expect that the spread of the disease, we see it marching down the, st the state, will be more in um, southern New Jersey in a, you know, over the next you know, couple of weeks to a month, and we want to be prepared for it. We don't expect as many cases, but there's not as many hospital beds either. We need the capacity, whether we need it next week or a year from next week, we, we don't want to ever be caught out again. All three field hospitals in Secaucus, Edison, and Atlantic City add a thousand extra beds to New Jersey's hospital capacity, but they can also house folks who need to self-quarantine once the state starts to reopen later on, and widespread testing detects people who've been exposed to the virus. Right now, Atlantic City's got 53 COVID-19 cases and four deaths. At some point, things go back to normal, uh, but certainly not in the near future. Uh, and again, you could tell by the convention center where we usually have boat shows and car shows and, you know, massive gatherings is now a uh, now a field medical system. For now, the city's a ghost town plastered with closed signs, with one exception. Atlantic City's boardwalk is the only one along the Jersey Shore that's still open. Businesses and casinos along here are closed, but people can still stroll the boards. I appreciate the fact that Atlantic City stayed open. We get some exercise, we can socially distance, uh, and it's really good for the community, I think. Bob Panolina's here even though he lives on the border with Ventnor. He tried walking on their boardwalk. They uh, threaten you with a uh, six months in jail and a $1,000 uh, fine. We're in the safest place probably in the state of New Jersey. Perhaps now, while it's windy and chilly, but on a warm late spring day, crowds easily might gather here. Ultimately, it's up to the mayor. Until our police chief says that the boardwalk is getting out of control for whatever reason, then we reserve the right uh, you know, to reverse ourselves. But I stand by that decision uh, more than ever because at, at the end of the day, people need to get out and get some fresh air. People have to understand the nature and the deadly nature of this virus and that social distancing is really the only vaccine that we have at this time. And uh, with that in mind, I, I just ask people to, uh, you know, to, to stay at home and fight that urge to be out on the, on the boardwalk. Easier said than done. In Atlantic City, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.